guys, so, um, I just wanted to, uh, take some time off of my day to talk about the most, uh, s the most disastrous storm that hit my area, and it's Hurricane Sandy. Now, it is unofficially referred as Superstorm Sandy. Sandy and is the most deadliest and destructive hurricane of 2012 Atlantic hurricane season. And it is nearly 70 billion 2012 US dollars. And it was the second costliest hurricane on record by the United States and to surpass by hurricanes Harvey and Maria in 2017. Now, it was a major hurricane and at least... 233 people were killed among the path of the storm in eight countries. Wow. And this was how big it was. I mean, like, it was really big. Uh, and... Yeah, so... Uh, it's the fourth costliest hurricane and affected the greater Antilles... Bahamas, most of the eastern United States, especially the coastal, and Atlantic states, Bermuda, east, eastern Canada. And I want to tell you that it was a short storm that hit somewhere in my area, like, like, a, like around here, hit somewhere in my area, and... I did not know that there's warm waters up here, so, um, that meant that I turned to Cat 2 and then it turned back to Cat 1. But, uh, yeah, it was a major hurricane, and this is how large it was. Let me show you. And just a few. Another Hurricane Sandy. And I just wanted to point that out, that it, that, um, a lot of people died. A lot of people are, like, like, still getting ready for it. And, yeah. And it was so big because of the cold, like, just like we saw in the video that, that I just showed you. The jet stream of sand, I mean, no. Cold jet stream, or a wave, um, was, um, collided with Sandy, which made it into that, like, huge storm. And it even snowed in, like, like, I'll show you how it snowed. It was a post-tropical cyclone, but, uh... It did snow in one of the videos. I mean, one of the... One of these I showed you. I mean, not two minutes. Sandy's deadly march begins three and a half thousand miles away. High above the Atlantic Ocean, a small ripple of air forms in the atmosphere. We had a little tropical wave coming off of Africa. It took about five to seven days to cross the Atlantic and reach the Caribbean Sea. That little tropical wave, you can think of it as an atmospheric disturbance, a little ripple in the atmosphere. It's a source of energy where we might have a hurricane form. 22,000 miles up, a weather satellite records the formation of a hurricane in the Caribbean Sea. We know the ingredients that can come together to make a hurricane, whether it's super moist air, winds that are, that are nice and light, we call it wind shear. If the winds are too strong, it tends to rip the storm apart. So we look for these little areas of low pressure and we look for Mother Nature's ingredients that are coming together to maybe get a storm bubbling and brewing. The scale is cause for concern. I think when they first saw the computer model that showed Sandy coming into New Jersey, and that was about five to six days in advance. There was a lot of disbelief. In fact, in some ways, we kind of dismissed it and said, that, that can't happen. There's no way this is going to happen. But Sandy is on a collision course with the cold northern jet stream. If the two collide, the results could be catastrophic. Essentially, you're taking this massive storm that's tropical in nature, all this tropical hot air, you're taking a jet stream that's coming down from the Arctic with all this cold air, and you're going to mix those two together. And what you get is what we saw. In fact, that jet stream actually helped Sandy intensify. And guys, this is like when it was like starting to form. 
And, I mean, not starting to, but this one was Cat 2, okay? Then it turned back to Cat 1. And this is what I was talking about earlier. This wasn't the same exact video that was going to play. But this is when it makes landfall, right? About, yeah, you're right there. Yeah, it makes landfall right there around where I live. It rained so hard that it turned off the electricity. And through the evening hours, we start... To Okay, so, um, around my area, like, okay, in the Pennsylvania region, where it's in Hurricane Gust, that's where I was when I was very little. I did not even know what a hurricane was. And I, was den I did not know what was going on. I so, like I was saying, this storm lasted from... October 22nd, 2012 to November 2nd, 2012. Well, it was 150 miles per hour. And... Yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. Hurricane Sandy. But yeah, the aftermath. President Barack Obama was in involved. A lot of damage had to be done. Had to. It was done. And other stuff. So they're like preparing for another Hurricane Sandy. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe, like, share, turn on post notifications. And see you later. Bye.